Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel 3D Multimedia. So today under the NLP series, we'll be looking at stemming and lemmatization. So what is stemming? Stemming is a text normalization process in NLP, it is natural language processing, that involves reducing words to their base or root form. So for uh, example, if the root word is run and the variations of the base on the root word are running and run. So this stemming can be achieved under the popular stemming algorithm called Porter stemmer. So for example, if the original word is running, then the stemmed word based on the original word is run. If the original word is runs, then based on that, the stemmed word is run. Okay, so let us now import the NLTK library. Okay, and this Porter stemmer, which is the algorithm inside the NLTK.sem, let us import that. And once that is imported, let us store the Porter stemmer function inside the variable called stemmer and now let us print it okay so okay so let us print the variable stemmer dot stem because this is the word which we are going to apply stemming right so the original word I have given as playing so once the stemming has been applied the resultant is play similarly for the uh, original word play after applying stemming you can see the 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 stemmed word becomes play here i'm applying the stemming towards the word called increases and the <coughs> and the original word becomes uh, it's not increase i n c r e a s e so e will not come so it is e a s similarly for increasing also if there is a original word after apply stemming you will get it like this Okay. Okay. So now let us apply. <coughs> so we have seen that in a single single word, right? So let us apply that inside a list. So same thing. I have taken that uh, Porter stem algorithm from the NLTK uh, dot st stem. We have imported that. Let us store that function inside stemmer and let us consider uh, a list of two elements like running and runs. In, and storing that inside the words variable. So uh, by applying the for loop, so let us apply the for loop for w in words. So base word or root word. So it's a variable, so you can choose anything. You can write anything here, like base word or, or root word. So base word equal to stemmer. Stemmer is nothing but the variable which we have stored the function Potter stemmer. So let us take that dot uh, for which we are applying the stemming. We are applying the stemming for the list run, uh, running and runs. So let us print that base word. So you can see the uh, based on this two list, right? The items in the list for running we got run, and for runs also we got run. So this is after stemming. So if you've seen here, okay, so if you've seen the examples, right? The printing statement here, right? So when the original word was playing, and you got the root word as play, right? So here what it does is the stemmer removes the suffix, the suffix ing resulting in the base form to play. So similarly, for each words given for even for the increases, right? Okay, the last two letters ES has been removed. That's why you, you get I N C R E I E A S. Similarly, okay, that's the suffix S is, is got removed here. Okay, so let us go to lemmatization. So what is lemmatization? Lemmatization is also another uh, text normalization technique in NLP like stemming, it aims to reduce words to their base or root form. Okay, so what is the difference between this stemming and lemmatization? Okay, so the primary goal of stemming is to reduce words to their base or root form by removing common prefixes or suffixes without considering the context or meaning of the word. So this is the difference here. Even lemmatization also, uh, actually it also reduces the words to their base or root form, but it considers the meaning of the word. Okay, so the meaning of the word is considered in lemmatization, but in stemming, okay, it uh, it reduces words to the base or root form, but without considering the context or meaning of the word. So there is no uh, meaning involved in that in stemming process. Okay, so let us go for lemmatization. So previously we we installed, uh, sorry, we imported uh, stemmer, Potter stemmer, right? Okay, that is for the stemming process. So for the lemmatization process, we will be importing a word net lemmatizer from the nltk.stem. So make sure that this word net 
um, libraries or, or the package has been already installed or if you have already downloaded it okay okay so let us uh, store the function word net lemmatizer inside the variable called lem and let us try to print it so print lem dot lemmatize since we are not uh, since we are doing a lemmatization so let us do the lemmatizations for the word called increases okay so once that is done you can see the uh, previously the e was not there right the letter e was not available in some in a uh, stemming process but in lemmatization it gives a proper meaning so the, there is a proper meaning of this original word okay after lamentation we get increase so similarly let us do for the running okay so we have lamentized it uh, we have lamentized the word uh, running and we got the same thing as the as the original word so but okay let us come to this uh, coding part so where we have the print uh, lamentization for the word called running let us apply the part of speech the same uh, code statement i'm applying part of speech as verb so let us specify the part of speech pos as a verb using the nltk word net lemmatizer by specifying pos that is a part of speech we are indicating that we want the lemmatizer to treat running as a verb and the result is run okay so comparing the the, the previous one and the, the current one you can see for the original word running you got the lemmatized word as running but after applying the part of speech as verb in this particular word okay running we got run okay okay similarly for the uh, applying the lemmatization towards the word called runs we got run okay so let us take a sentence and applying and apply it uh, towards stemming so for that uh, we need to involve tokenization so let us first download the necessary package called punkt and let us import uh, word tokenize from nltk.tokenize uh, once that is done so as usual let us import nltk and let us uh, go for um, uh, importing potter stemmer from nltk.stem and uh, store this uh, potter stemmer function inside stemmer and now in the text okay in the text variable let us store the sentence uh, called as boys are playing and running so we are going to apply stemming uh, towards this sentence that's why we are so we we had to involve tokenization process that's why we we also imported the word uh, tokenize okay so here uh, and in, in inside tokenization let us up, uh, let us uh, provide like this analytical dot word tokenize so we are applying word tokenize towards the text and the text here is nothing but the variable referring as boys are playing and running okay let us uh, apply for loop for w in tokenization so so we are going to uh, that is inside this uh, sentence right we are, we'll be breaking down into words right so in that word we are applying stemming process so once that tokenization process is completed we'll apply stemming to that and we will see the resultant okay so let us uh, uh, print the word as it is okay and let us apply the stemming towards this uh, sentence so you can see here okay so for the original word boys you got the st stem stemmed word as boy similarly for r playing and and running and running for the original word running you got run so this is the uh, stemmedized word okay okay similarly uh, we will take a, a sentence uh, that is the same sentence and we will apply the limitation towards it okay so okay so import nltk so from nltk dot stem we will import a uh, word word net lemmatizer. Okay, let us store the word word net lemmatizer function inside the variable called lem, and we will provide the same sentence boys are playing and running and store it under the variable called text. Now let us apply tokenization process. So we will uh, so the imported uh, word tokenize. Let us apply it towards the sentence so that the sentence breaks down into small words. Okay, so uh, then so for for w in tokenization, let us apply the for loop for this tokenization and let us print lem dot lemmatize of this w because now the tokenized the sentence is stored in, in inside w. So let us print that and let us see this. So after lemmatization, let us compare both of them. So here you can see here the boys here the original word was boys and it referred as boy after uh, stemming. Here are uh, boys. 
uh, after applying the limitation word it's referred as boys are playing and running so since okay you can see here it didn't give a proper meaning here so for after playing it it got play but here it uh, refers it considers the proper meaning that's why it has apply it has given for the original word playing it also uh, lemmatized and it gave uh, playing and even for the running also it gave running okay so let us uh, see the use cases like for stemming mostly we use stemming for the information retrieval and search uh, and search engines and for limitation uh, limitation um, you, you can go for uh, like um, like if you are working with sentiment analysis and machine translation then you can go for limitization okay thank you